We'll go back our way. Let's play Klonoa 2 Luna Tia's Veil. Vale. Last episode, we started up the game, for one. <laughs> and learned that, well, we have bells. We need to press the bells, otherwise things are going to get worse than they already are. And things are kind of bad, I guess, since monsters are everywhere and people are getting sick. There's not really much more to say than that, so... Klonoa is ready. His body is facing us right now. Let's go! Ripper, you do indeed. This place does have some very nice calming music. Ooh, come back! No! Jerk. I caught him last time I played this level. And yes, moves with shields have once again returned. I like how their shields are crescent shaped though. Flying moves. Oh, whoops. Uh, I do like how you can press R1 to actually bring up a status though, like how many lives you have and whatnot. Anyways, there's something I want to do with this move. Yes! Haha! <laughs> he doesn't respawn either. I don't know why, I just love killing enemies that are not normally reachable. Thanks to great joy. Mega health. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to keep my eyes peeled for uh, a, the different stars in this area because last time I played through this level, I actually missed one. I'm guessing it was one of those invisible ones. There are lots of invisible Ingapoco eggs uh, in this game, more than there were in the first Kanoa game. Where in the first Kanoa game there was only a maximum of, say, one invisible Ingapoco egg, one or, or two per level. There seems to be more in this game. Like that, right there. Invisible Ingapoco eggs. Whoa! Whoa, what? No, I refuse. Why would they do such a thing? Apparently dreamstones can despawn now. That wasn't a thing in the first game. Well, let's take care of that first, then. Thank you. I'm learning more about the game as I play through it, but by the time I play, I finish this let's play, I will play through the game twice, so. Don't expect me to stay noobish too long. Drum! Dupa dupa indeed, Klonoa. See, that totally would have hurt me if I wasn't playing Klonoa 1. I don't know why it is that they shrunk the hitboxes for the enemies, maybe a lot of people just found it annoying, but whatever. I also have trampolines now. To bounce you. I guess. Yeah, we have weird little... octagonal trampolines in this game now, for some reason or another. Keep their existence in mind. Because you will find them in varying degrees as time goes on. Whoa! Destroyed my moo! Jerk. Let's just get out of here. Mm hmm. So, the levels in this game do unfortunately feel kind of long winded at times. Like I said in the last episode, the levels in this game are long. Um, uh, the layer levels especially can actually feel really long. <laughs> And it's going to get to the point at the very end where an entire level will... Or one level will take an entire episode. But we don't reach that point just yet. No, we still have cutscenes in the background. No, Moo, no! Well, that was sad. But yeah, we have these creatures that will eat, eat anything that passes by. And then spend some time chewing. So you just have to throw some kind of enemy in front of them for them to eat, and then carry on on your merry way. I oh mean, I haven't been looking for invisible uh, 
platforms. Invisible Ingapoko eggs. Oh, I haven't missed anything. I have to keep my eyes peeled for shadows. It looks like I see one right now, actually. Where I'm standing right here? Apparently not. It's just that's that's just part of the ground. And I'm just trying to focus on the ground. That sounds exciting, doesn't it? Oh, oh no! See, I'm focusing too much on the ground, not being hit by moves. Of the flying variety. No. A lot of enemies, for some reason, won't respawn unless you stand in a particular area. Which sometimes means you have to walk back and forth to make an enemy respawn after, uh... You accidentally kill them. What is it? Enemies are just kind of throwing crap at us now. Big crap, in fact. You know, even if the levels in this game are pretty darn long, I think that the atmosphere gets that very at least pretty close to making up for it. I actually enjoy spending time in these levels quite a bit. Mirror Fairy. Cool. Alright, I'm still hoping that I haven't actually missed any of those yet. There's another one here. And there are two left. I don't know if there's enough in the level for me to really believe that... Enough left in the level for me to really believe that there are two left. By the way, if you get eaten by one of those, it just deals one damage to you. It's not an instant death like I might expect it to be. Keep my eyes on the ground anyways. Just in case. Periodically hopping. Bonk. And then there is one more of those things. Alright, so this area has an interesting gimmick. You actually interact with the uh, background and foreground in this game. See, how, how did that moon not hurt me? Inter you actually interact with the background and foreground in this game a lot more than you do in uh, the first one. Uh, for example, you do stuff like this an enemy at the background, and we'll actually make stuff happen. I still love this music. <laughs> it's very peaceful, that's all there is to be said. And by the way, I know that big pendulum, pendulum cannot actually touch you, so don't worry about it hurting you. Go away, Moo. Yeah, I don't know where I missed that the last, uh... I guess there's some invisible Ingapoko egg somewhere or something like that, but I missed one of the, uh... Huh. I don't like that. I missed a star... thing. I just don't know what they're called. Hi, Priestess. Nothing big. Yeah. 
Those red eyes. I might go back and pick up that last piece at some point or another, once I figure out where it is. I'd like to collect all those in this playthrough. Did she get a feather? Well, she's not really going to be doing anything. I'm going to be doing all the platforming. Popka is just kind of like going to be non existent, so. Projector. The vases in this room are not symmetrical. Why is there a missing vase on the left side? We are in the Kino Tranquility. Save. You know, I missed a thing. You know, I, the way this game works, it's actually impossible to accidentally overwrite someone else's file. It's kind of cool. So if we go down to our little status menu, it's going to say that we only have 5 out of 6 this time around, unfortunately. Although we do have a uh, 150 dream stones, which is nice. Not one, but not the other. Alright. But, I guess we'll have to figure that out later. On to the temple. Didn't really take us long to get here, did it? Apparently their word for part is much shorter. Uh, I do like Tat quite a bit. We'll see why later. Yeah, I kicked ass last time I wheeled this thing. It is a very much consequence. Fine, you thing. Come on. Boom. So I don't know why it is, but every single... Ah, darn it. But 
In every Chrono game I've played thus far, the gimmick of the first boss is to hit it from behind. I don't know why. Ha! Ah. The bosses work a little bit differently in Chrono 2 than in Chrono 1. Oops. We'll see how. how, how. Uh. Soon. Come on. Go on. That happened. Uh. Most of them have two health bars instead of one for some reason. Oh, come on. And yeah, if you hit him, he actually starts turning the other way. Thank you. And his armor. And no, there are there is no health in this fight. I don't think there is any health to be found. You now some fights in this game have health. You can pick up, but not many. Come on. It's really nothing but armor. It doesn't have anything inside of that helmet. Oh. And everything in this game explodes. For reasons. I love taunting during fights. Well, whatever. Hey, it looks like the switches from Clone Wars One. So it has a bell shape. Same as last time. You actually have to shoot it yourself, which is kind of funny. Boom! Yes. Hmm. Anyways. So like I last episode, we're not really gonna have time to fit anything else into this episode, even though this episode's a little bit shorter than I usually like to keep them. Um so the next episode, we're going to head on back over to Baguji, and uh, from there, I guess we're going to head on to the uh, next kingdom. I'm actually not sure which kingdom is the next one. Hmm. Let's find out. Well, we will see you guys next time in that case. We being me and Konoa, I guess. Whatever. See you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Klonoa 2 Lunatia's Veil. Bye, guys!